Welcome to another informative video. Today we have a special guest, Dr. Samuel, who will guide us on creating a personal budget using Microsoft Excel. Dr. Samuel is a seasoned expert in the field, having helped countless individuals take control of their finances. He believes that budgeting is a crucial skill and that Excel can be a powerful ally in this endeavor. So without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Samuel. Scene script, Dr. Samuel, can you enlighten us on why budgeting is crucial? Indeed, budgeting is the lifeline of your financial journey. It's like a roadmap guiding you to your financial goals. Whether it's saving for a house, planning for retirement, or simply staying out of debt, it's about understanding where your money comes from and, more importantly, where it goes. Without a budget, it's easy to lose track of your spending, which can leave you in financial distress. A budget, on the other hand, puts you in control. It helps you prioritize your spending, makes you aware of your financial habits, and encourages you to set aside money for emergencies and future needs. A well-planned budget is more than just numbers on a spreadsheet. It's a tool that empowers you to make informed decisions and provides a sense of financial security. Thank you, Dr. Samuel. That indeed gives us a clear picture of why budgeting is essential. Now, Dr. Samuel, how do we get started with Excel for our budget? Absolutely, let's dive right in. Excel, a powerful tool from Microsoft, is your new best friend for creating your ultimate personal budget. It's all about getting familiar with a few basic functions. First things first, opening a new spreadsheet. It's as simple as launching Excel and clicking on New Workbook. This blank canvas is where we will build our budget. Next, let's discuss entering data. Each cell in the spreadsheet is a unique space for you to input your information. You can click on a cell and start typing. For our budgeting purposes, we'll want to create categories for income and expenses. Think of things like salary, groceries, rent, and entertainment. Each category will have its own cell in the spreadsheet. Now, on to the magic of Excel. Formulas. Formulas are like the brain of your spreadsheet, doing all of the hard calculations for you. For instance, a simple addition formula allows you to add up all your income or expenses. Just type equal sign sum and then select the cells you want to add up, close it off with AE, and hit enter. Voila, Excel does the math for you. Subtraction is just as easy. To calculate how much money is left after expenses, we'll subtract our total expenses from our total income. The formula is at some income, some expenses. And what about when your expenses change? No problem. Excel's formulas automatically recalculate everything when you update a cell. This way, your budget stays up to date with real-time changes. Remember, Excel is more than just a calculator. It's a dynamic tool that can adapt to your personal budgeting needs. Take some time to explore and get comfortable with these basics. There's a lot Excel can do, but these foundational skills will get you started on the right track. That's a great start, Dr. Samuel. Now, how do we actually use these features to create our budget? All right, we're now ready to create our budget. Dr. Samuel, guide us through this. And so we begin. The first step is to categorize your expenses. Now, and this might seem like a daunting task, but trust me, it's much simpler than it sounds. All you need to do is list down all the areas where you spend your money. These might include groceries, rent, utilities, transportation, entertainment, and the like. Remember, the goal here is to get as detailed as possible. Why, you ask? Because the more detailed your categories, the better your control over your spending. Next up is tracking income. Now this is the fun part because who doesn't like to see money coming in, right? Jokes aside, this is just as important as categorizing expenses because it helps you understand how much money you have available to allocate to different expense categories. So list down all your sources of income, be it your salary, freelance work, rental income, or any other source. Now let's move on to the third step, which is to monitor balances. This is where you subtract your expenses from your income to see how much money you have left over. If you have a positive balance, that's great. You can either save it or allocate it to other expense categories. If you have a negative balance, don't worry. It just means you need to revisit your expenses and find areas where you can cut back. Now, you might be wondering, Dr. Samuel, this sounds like a lot of manual work. Isn't there a way to automate this? And I'm glad you asked because yes, there is. Excel has a feature called formulas that can do the math for you. All you need to do is enter the formula once and Excel will do the calculations every time you update your income or expenses. One last tip before we wrap up this part, 
always remember to update your budget regularly. This could be daily, weekly, or monthly, depending on your preference. The key here is consistency. The more regularly you update your budget, the better your understanding of your financial situation and the better your control over your spending. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's move on to the fun part, making your budget work for you. Remember, a budget is not just about tracking income and expenses. It's also about making smart financial decisions that help you achieve your financial goals, whether it's buying a house, going on a vacation, or simply saving for a rainy day. Fantastic, Dr. Samuel. We now have a basic budget, but how do we make it more effective? We now have our basic budget, but we want to make it more effective. Dr. Samuel, how can we do that? Dr. Samuel, with his wealth of experience, suggests a few tips to make our budget more effective. His first recommendation is to use conditional formatting. This feature in Excel allows us to format cells, rows, and columns based on the values they contain. For instance, we can set Excel to highlight any expenses that exceed our budget in red. This gives us a visual cue to instantly recognize overspending. Next, Dr. Samuel suggests creating graphs for a visual representation of our spending. A picture, as they say, is worth a thousand words. By creating graphs, we can get a clear snapshot of our spending habits. We can see which categories we are spending the most in and where we might need to cut back. Dr. Samuel also emphasizes the importance of utilizing Excel's advanced functions. These can be a real game changer when it comes to enhancing our budget. For example, the SUMIF function allows us to add up all the values in a column that meet a specific criterion. This can be beneficial when we want to know how much we've spent in a particular category. Similarly, the VLOOKUP function can help us find specific data in our budget. Dr. Samuel's final piece of advice is to continually update and adjust our budget as our financial situation changes. A budget is not a static document. It should be flexible and adapt to our changing needs and goals. Excel, with its vast array of features and functions, is a powerful tool for creating and managing our personal budget. And with Dr. Samuel's tips, we can enhance our budget to make it even more effective. Thank you, Dr. Samuel. Your tips are definitely going to make our budget more useful. We've learned a lot from Dr. Samuel today about creating an effective personal budget in Excel. This journey has reminded us about the vital role of budgeting in managing our finances. We've seen how a well-crafted budget can illuminate our financial health, guiding us towards wiser spending and better saving decisions. Dr. Samuel has shown us the ropes of Excel, a powerful tool that turns budgeting from a daunting chore into a manageable, even enjoyable task. We've delved into the heart of Excel, learning how to set up a budget from scratch, how to input our income and expenses, and how to track our financial progress over time. As we've seen, Excel offers far more than just a grid of cells. It's a dynamic platform that allows us to visualize our financial data, helping us to understand our spending patterns and to identify areas where we can improve. By harnessing the power of Excel, we can create a budget that is not just a static document, but a living, evolving reflection of our financial journey. And remember, practice makes perfect, so why not give it a try? Start crafting your own personal budget in Excel, applying the knowledge you've gained today. You'll be amazed at how it can transform your financial life. Thanks again, Dr. Samuel, for your insights, and to all our viewers, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Until next time.